Yo, what's going on guys? Gonna be showing you the power of full AD Cal in the top lane. Full AD Cal has better win rates than full AP Cal because her auto attacks hit harder and she can get more sustained in lane that way as well. Auto attack E, I'll back off here, give him some space to breathe. Just trying to delay the enemies a little bit. Their singe got messed up. Wait, who's their top laner? Okay, it's Garen, that makes sense. They're still doing this super weird delayed invade. Very strange. For our runes, we have press the attack. You can go for fleet or lethal tempo. Lethal tempo has been nerfed a lot for range champs though, to where it's still probably Kel's best keystone in the true 5v5 late game. However, for the first 20 minutes of the game, it's somewhat low value to where press the attack or fleet is gonna be better than lethal tempo. So then we have triumph, alacrity, last stand, overgrowth, bone plating, attack speed, AD, any resistance. You generally start with E, doesn't cost any mana. It's also easy to last hit with, giving you additional damage on every single auto attack. It's an auto reset and a ranged auto. I don't necessarily want to trade off with this guy too much level one. Hits me with a Q, it's whatever. I'm gonna let him push into me anyways. You can't really poke him down. Keeping that in mind, I'm not gonna bother unless I absolutely have to trade with him. Kill, you have to keep your HP up and usually let the enemies push to you. He's push, kind of pushing me off this minion a little bit. Then you stop pressuring, so I take it for free. I have to constantly watch where he's walking, and that's going to determine what I'm allowed to get. He has level 2 advantage on me, so I have to kind of sit back. Alright, we're chilling. Last hit that guy right there. We can use the AoE on our Q to hit this minion and him at the same time. He didn't quite step into it, though. We're going to way outscale this guy. If you're going to play with Ghost, you have to be especially particular in your positioning. If you run Teleport, you don't have to be near as clean. With Teleport, you can make more mistakes, come back to lane. But Ghost gives you way more carry potential across the board. Auto attack E reset. Pull this off to the side. I don't want it to quite crash yet. I want to keep him as far up as I can for as long as possible. And hit this with an auto attack E reset. Down it goes. And now we go to last hit mode. Keep your HP high. If you lose too much HP, the enemies can end up diving you. E, the auto. Kel's pretty easy to last hit on. Her passive attack speed stacks up to five times. And then you also have your E additional damage as well. On every single auto attack, max your E first and we're chilling. Every stack of your passive gives you roughly 6% attack speed. So at five stacks, it's 30% additional. Pretty solid. Looks like Garen's still chilling here. He wants to push into us, which I'm totally fine with. It's ideal as a ranged laner to be able to sit under your turret when you're weak. Kel has a very weak early game for a ranged top laner. Things like Vayne are much stronger early on. My wave's going to push to him since it reinforced first. I'll fight him on my cannon here. I'm actually okay with that. Fighting him on my cannon minion's totally fine. I'm going to flash Q into him. Auto attack E reset. Probably not worth. He has phase rush. I didn't really realize that. Not going to be able to get a kill on him there. At least we got his ghost. His wave seems to be pushing into me. Even though mine reinforced first. His cannon minion's still alive and chunking. Go ahead and last hit that. I want to take off his passive healing. I'm going to heal myself. Auto attack E reset. Auto attack, down he goes. Uh, I think this is actually pushing towards me still, interestingly enough. It's hard to tell. Eh, I guess I'll I'll just push it. My wave reinforces first here. I should have had Teemo stay and push it with me. I'll have such a minion advantage, he probably won't be able to fight me though, so it's whatever. If you have your passive fully stacked on Kel, you have more all-in potential. So if you've built it up off of minions or slowly poking at the enemies, just pay attention to it above your abilities there. Auto attack E reset. It gives you a lot more all-in potential. Also, if you have an HP advantage, if you're fighting on your backline minions to get that extra damage in as well, that can help a lot. First item back, you want to buy as much of your Bork as you can get. I think I would rather have the life still for now and i guess i'd like to have boots as well 
and I'll head back to lane. Your W costs a lot of mana, so even though it heals you, you don't want to get stuck just spamming this every time it's up. It's also a good survivability tool through the movement speed, so you usually use it when you get ganked or if you're having a big trade with the enemy where you need that extra positioning and heal. But if you're missing some health, you don't randomly just keep dumping your W typically unless there's a really good reason to do it. Like you think you're going to get dove or you're just a little bit too low on health. You don't want to get in the habit of just spamming it though. It's a high cooldown, low healing ability. His wave's pushing to me. I don't have to do much here. It's already coming to me. All I want to do is slow it down a little bit. So I go in and out of the bush. And this will give us time to uh, auto attack E reset. It'll give us time to thin this out so it doesn't crash too heavy. When it crashes heavy, they get an easy dive option. Now we're level six so we can perma poke them with autos. So it lets them dive easy and it also makes it harder to last hit. So if you can thin it out, it makes your life easier. Auto attack into the Q, hit him with my E. This is a lot of minions. I'll keep trying to pull this off to the side, minimize some damage. And since I have a Vampiric, I can keep my health up somewhat. Vampiric plus the <clears throat> D-Blade. I'll attack E-Reset. Yeah, he's really trying to dump this. I just missed two minions hitting him as well. That's pretty frustrating. He's kind of in trouble. Auto attack into an E reset here. Ideally, couldn't quite get it. He lost a lot of HP out of that. I actually have minion advantage, so I kind of need to push. I'll hit my potion, get back as much health as I can. And I want to heal him before he gets all of his health back through his passive. He hasn't taken damage. Starts cranking the healing. Oh man, missed a lot of CS there. My bad. He actually has it control warded. I'll take this down real quick with my five stack passive. He's really low. Like he's super diveable right now. And even if he gets a gank from his jungler, I might still be able to kill him. Or just straight up escape. Phase Rush Garen is good. I don't think it's amazing versus range matchups though. Because he's still going to have trouble getting to us. Poking with my E. W. I'm on my ghost. Ghost this guy down. Down he goes. Auto attack E reset. He's going to try to fight me around his R. My E is a big execute, though. He probably doesn't realize that. Thought he was going to R back. He legit just didn't. I'll go ahead and stay and shove wave here. Auto attack E reset. People get comfortable with how much damage you're doing. They don't realize your E does more damage the more HP they're missing, though. So they'll usually miscalculate that, and you'll end up killing them with it. It's time to reset. First five levels on kill are the hardest because you don't have constant range autos. Once you're six, you have constant range autos and you can start to take more agency in the game. All right, that's final bit. I, we could get tier two boots into this melee matchup. Thing is, Garen can never get to us. When he uses his speed up, which also cleanses slows when he activates it, I can hit him with my slow and then he can't do anything. Kel's Q is AoE damage, AoE slow, shreds armor, magic resist, amazing ability. Great range on it. W uses speed up and heal for you and an ally. Your E is your auto reset plus empowered damage on every auto plus an execute. Can clear these so fast. Yeah, these minions don't stand a chance anymore. A lot of damage. The biggest downside of playing AP kills is you don't have any sustain in lane. But rushing Bork versus item sets you up to permakite people by slowing them, speeding yourself up. Plus, they did just buff Bork for range champions. To where Bork's barely weaker on range than it is on melee. Which is kind of sick. We want to max our Q second, W last. A full stack passive up, lots of attack speed. Kells autos have a short float time, so you have to walk out really fast before the turret shot hits you if you're underneath turret aggro range. Some champions like Soraka have really long float autos where they can just toss him an auto and have all day to walk away before it lands. 
It's about, it's about when the damage actually connects, not about when it's in midair. Got him. Trying to keep his passive off. Echo's in my jungle, so I'm fine to stay here and kind of poke this guy. Auto attack E reset. We want to get an auto E auto, ideally. Your E has slightly more range than your base auto attacks. So if you can reach them with an auto, you can normally reach them with an E right after as well. Downs Echo, so I have time to do this. He's missing pretty much every single minion. Poke him with an E in between turret shots. He's going to stay low health. He can't farm now. This is where the lane's effectively over. If he can't set up a kill on me with his jungler before I'm 6 and up, as long as I've been CSing decently and trying to freeze the wave at my turret, letting him push into me. His options are limited now. He needs his jungler to bail him out. It's going to be hard for them to kill me. I have Ghost Flash. I'll attack E reset. Got to press the attack off there. I'm taking some turret shots. I can heal back though. So it's fine. Can use my E to push as well here. It's low enough cooldown, no mana costs. Very good. We need to hit him again, take off his passive. Just like so, auto E, auto. There's my press the attack. He's still nice and low. Auto E, auto. Couldn't quite get it. Starting to miss more and more HP. <clears throat> I need to just last hit these. I could even heal myself potentially. I wonder if he stayed. That would be interesting if he did. Because he's super low. Ah, oh, man. Missed a minion. <laughs> Oops. 120 CS. 13 minute mark is solid though. Considering we don't have TP. Every single minion does count. On a scaler like Cal, super item reliant, super level reliant. She needs gold and XP. Once she's six and up, XP doesn't matter as much. The gold certainly does though. Looks like he ended up resetting. Now all of our autos have AOE damage and do additional damage. Auto E. And our E's explode as well. Our E's do AoE damage and our autos do AoE damage. See me have fun time for him. His jungler's dead as well, so I don't have to play safe at all. There goes his HP. I don't even have Bork yet. Auto Q, auto E. He has half of our CS. You can't farm anymore. I do need to get a ward down though. I've been semi fortunate with how little I've been ganked. I've set it up though to where it's not easy to gank me. No one wants to gank for their laner when they're almost dead. And we've kept this guy really low on health. Oops, that's cool. Auto Q, Auto E. Oh, I took another turret shot. Cool. <laughs> I kind of need to heal back now. I took too much damage. He's going to feel a lot more comfortable after that. Probably just push this and reset. That goes topside anyways. It would be much safer for me to simply leave. Looks like I can get turret without Garen's position. Yep. I am out of here. Extra attack speed, full stack passive, extra movement speed. Too spicy, man. Too friggin' spicy. Now with Bork, no one can get away from me against their team. I'll go for this into this. We're chilling, man. He can't get away. I can pop uh, Ghost into him and shred him down. I'll slow him with Q, and then he'll use his Q to kind of get out of that, to cleanse it. But then my third auto will hit him, and the Bork will slow him and speed me up. 143 CS, solid. Yeah, these autos absolutely shred. We're not a bit that very ability reliant because every auto hits hard. 
The team's mostly dead. I'm free to push this as I see fit. He's not in this bush, is he? Yeah, he literally loses this. I speed myself up. I get his flash. That's decent. I could have potentially flash ghosted after him, but why bother? I'm already so far ahead. He's losing CS. I'm already continuing my lead without having to use sums and making myself vulnerable. Yeah, I almost got the Twitch. Don't want to die for it, though. I'm also missing a lot of HP. I would like to get that back up. Should be able to get it off this guy. The Dornblade's healing me. The Bork's healing me. Slowly get back my HP here. You don't roam too much as Kel. Since she doesn't have much CC. All she has is her slow on Q, which is the skill shot. Just farm. Just like a Vladimir doesn't roam. Now that we've taken turret, we can roam if we so choose. But I do have a uh, flash ghost. It's not going to be easy for them to kill me. It's going to be quite challenging for them to actually kill me now. Kale's KP tends to stay low. Since you don't, <laughs> you're not grouping, you'll you have a tiny amount of kills and assists for most of the game. No one wants to come stop me. All right. Don't blame Garen. Someone's got to come do something about this. Otherwise, they'll just straight up lose. I got to pull back a little bit. Can only be up so far when their whole team's kind of missing. Let's build up our attack speed here. We have our passive stack for the movement speed and the attack speed. We're chilling. No, they can't fight us while this is up. We'll get it off of the Gromp now. No clue why Teemo... Oh, he's the jungler. That's what's going on. I was like, wait a minute. Yeah, it's Teemo jungle. Teemo jungle is actually pretty strong. He has a bunch of extra damage against monsters on his E. Hey, friend. Speed myself up off W. Walk him down. I get ghost extensions off that as well. Literally on ghost extensions. <laughs> Almost killed Echo in a few hits. My flash is up as well. Speed myself up with W. I would flash auto E in, but my E's on a cooldown. I can't kill him with a Q. And that's it. They quit. We'll go ahead and do a part two of some 80 Kel action. I'll see you guys there. Yo, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to part two of 80 Kel in the top lane. This time we took Lethal Tempo for the Shred, Triumph, Alacrity, Last Stand, Overgrowth, Bone Plating, the Attack Speed, AD, and Armor. Up against the Trindomir, not gonna lie, Phase Rush would have been best. Phase Rush is one of those rare keystones you never see on Kel. However, against Nasus and Trind, I think it's the way to go. Because with Trind slow or Nasus slow, it's the only way you're gonna be able to get out of it. And since we don't have that, we might actually have to flex into Boots of Swiftness, unironically. Because the Trin Slow is absolutely devastating. This is a very hard matchup. Trindmere has a 55% win rate against Cal. If you don't get any jungle help, you have to play super, 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 super clean. Trying to do a little bit of minion block. Oh, baby, look at that block. Oh, baby, look at these blocks. Let's push into me now. Easy. Chill in the back. If they can't see you, they're more likely to push it. Which I am totally fine with. A missed the first mini. Let's go. As long as we keep HP high, even if I miss every minion, I'll be happy. He has full fury. I can't really step up. He could spin on my head and auto me. He's playing pretty passive so far. Honestly, too passive. Yep, there he gets it. He gets the crit as well. It's one of the more annoying things about this matchup. Is when he does get the crit out of the 40% crit chance. Got it. 
Oh, I accidentally set off my Eda. That's all right, though. We're at 8 out of 12 CS. Only missed 4 so far. Got it. And then he's going to push the wave to stack his Fury. Going for the Bork Rush into Phantom Dancer into Kraken. We could even go Gelforce this game against this guy. Gelforce would be fine. For the extra kite ability. Gelforce is a little more challenging to use than a Kraken. It's the Trin Dash. I think it's going to be worth it. I think my wave's actually pushing to him. Hit him with a QE. Trying to put a little bit of pressure on him. That cost me a lot of mana. Worth it, though, I'd say. Hey, he didn't get a crit that time. Got it. And... God, without having to use an ability, nice. Want to try to hold this wave here as long as we can. I need to get rid of these ones in the front, though. He really, really, really wants me to push it. I don't technically have it in a freeze, but he may think I that I do. Got him with E. Oof. Messed up that minion. We're going to miss a few of these. That's all right. It's about holding the wave more than anything. If we can keep it towards our turret and not die, that's the most important thing. Oh, missed my E on him, rip. Pokemon with our E. The good news is Trin likes to play low HP to maximize his attack damage. And that's when our E does the most damage. That's pretty much the only good news. Auto attack E reset. Very cool. Missed the minion. Got the cannon at least. He's actually dead here unless he gets a crit. Auto attack E reset. Down he goes. He got a little too rambunctious taking turret shots. If, if they're super low health, especially if you have your passive stack like I did, which is at the extra movement speed and attack speed, and, they're, and if they're low health, you can look for the all-in with your ghost. Run them down, auto-attack, E-reset. The lower on health they are, the more your E-chunks them. That's how we were able to win that fight. He took one. That turret shot really did him in. And we walked him down while he was on cooldowns. His spin was on cooldown. I think his heal was on cooldown as well at the time. Now we can reset. If you position well enough... It actually happens more than you think. People either overplaying their hand, they end up taking turret shots and you can find the all in, or they just play safe and then you hit six for free. We'll go ahead and pick up tier one boots. We got our life still. We want to keep our HP nice and high off the Omni Vamp on Doran's Blade and Vampiric. Like I said, I would rather have Phase Rush in this matchup or a Nasus matchup. Nasus and Tr Quinn has a 43% win rate against Trindamir. And a 41% win rate against Nasus. They're unplayable matchups if you play her traditionally, but I think with Phase Rush you can do it. Auto attack E reset, got him with the Q. Hey buddy. He took so much damage for that. I was sticking on the edge of my attack range there. I'm gonna kill this way faster than I need to because I don't like the minions shredding up my turret. I don't want to lose a plate here. I'll let the first one pass so it dies first. And then we'll do a little bit of sneaky sneaks. A little bit of sneakery sneakiness. So Trin's not mid. I don't know where that guy went. He might have actually reset now that I think about it. I know where they're junglers, so I could actually go ahead and push this. I'll attack Q. I'll attack E reset. Oh, missed that one. That's all right. I have my five stack passive stacked here. Auto attack E reset, again with the Q auto. I turn right as he went to use his slow on me. So we're kind of chilling here. Auto attack E reset, found it. We got his ghost, which is huge. We also got a little bit lucky when we turned to auto him. <laughs> If we didn't get that, we would have been dead for sure. Because I didn't have ghosts to escape. He 
he obviously wants to finish pushing this. He's going to spin out and I have to use my speed up. I'll attack E reset Q. I'll attack E reset. All right, he gets me. <laughs> so I hate this matchup, dude. No matter how sloppy Trin plays, it's kind of hard to It's kind of hard to outplay him really no matter how sloppy he plays. He even has Nimbus. So when he flashed, he also got a huge freaking speed up. Sure enough, Zed comes top as well there. Going to lose so many minions off that. Super unfortunate. Notice how we haven't gotten a single gank with the enemies pushed. I've noticed on Kel, 9 out of 10 times, you just don't get ganks. Even if the enemies are absolutely pushed. Absolutely under your turret. With missing health. You just do not get ganks. It's the craziest thing. And now he's dead. I'll attack E-reset. And down he goes. Because we had ghosts and he didn't. And he greeted. Just walk him down. I also have the fast boots. I don't really recommend going for Swifties. This is more of a desperate build than it is Kel's best build. Well, if you're gonna play against a matchup that's not really winnable. Desperate if desperate times ever called for desperate measures. Now's the time to do some Swifties. Playing footsies with a champion with some of the highest base stats in the game on his health regeneration and base AD, base movement speed and whatnot. Auto attack, E reset. Oof, didn't kill. Wow. Holy moly. Go ahead and max our Q second. This ghost is going to be up before mine. It's going to be a really scary one. It is. Zed helped him push, so he got a bunch of my plates. Got him with my E. I don't necessarily want a perma shove here. It is nice to fight him when my pass is fully stacked. Things I Okay, Zed is actually dead here. So I could permashove here actually he, he he has tier two boots now as well so he's not slow i should probably be a little bit faster than him especially if my pass is full stacked i get the extra percent base movement speed eight percent he's playing underneath his turret waiting for a gank okay i'm surprised i didn't get the uh i faced him right when he did that i'm surprised that actually gave him the slow there it looked like I was hitting him when that happened. You see with the Swifties though, that that slow wasn't a huge deal. We were able to kind of get out of it since his spin was already on a cooldown. He didn't have a way to stay on top. He's waiting for his jungler to bail him out. Standard top lane maneuvers. I am pushed up though, to be fair. I see Zed's bot side right now. Kale's autos don't have a very long float time, so it can be tricky to leave autos in underneath turret. He's really low, though. I'll keep him perma pushed, make him miss minis underneath turret. As long as I can keep my passive stacked up, we're fine. I'm a little nervous about my ghost being on cooldown because I think his is up now. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and back. He can't freeze it anyways. He went team at like an absolute goofball. Siobhan comes top now for the gank when it's not gankable. Very cool. <laughs> I'll get recurve bow, pickaxe, this, this, and this. Head back to lane. Use our speed up. We backed on a cannon wave, which is perfect. It's gonna take him a little bit to push the cannon at least, and he won't ideally won't get a plate out of it. Oh boy, he pushed that quick with team at. All right, he's actually going to get that plate, dang. He's not worried about getting ganked at all. Uh, I guess he wanted to die for it. Auto attack E reset. Down he goes. I would honestly say not worth. He may think he's going to outplay me or outscale me, but he's not going to. That's just my opinion, though. I guess we'll have to wait and see. I should be able to get a plate or two out of that myself. His R is also on cooldown, so he can't post up and fight me. He's going to have to have Zed hover him. When he comes back to lane, I'll attack Q, I'll attack E. I'm 
gonna kill the range minions first. They do more damage. I'm gonna literally stop him from coming back to lane. Then I'm gonna poop on his head. Make him smell it. He doesn't have R. He's literally just dead. I could have easily soloed him because I had passive full stacked off minions, extra movement speed. I have the right boots. I think he just bought Ravenous. I don't think he could actually afford it there. That's why I said I don't think that move was worth it because he had to use his R to do it. So now I can just take his turret and he's been dying. So I have a experience advantage. It just wasn't worth it. It was only worth it if Zed was going to hover him back to lane. Hey, friend. We can't really chase this guy the way Zed can move. Down he goes. I think Trin could potentially kill me here. Yeah, that's huge. That's really, really big. Sheesh. All right. We'll back and get our Bork. Borking for the porkin'. Then we'll go ahead and get a Phantom Bouncer for more movement speed. Lots of attack speed as well. The movement speed comes in handy. 7% movement speed on that, then 8% on our passive. Plus fast our Swifties. We're really quick. Is the is the point. We're not we're not gonna be easy for him to hold down. Stack up passive on this. His spins on cooldown. Hey Trendemir. Boop, down you go. <laughs> He's probably happy he got my flash, but I mean, he died for it, so. Yeah, Swifty is definitely the way to go. I don't know if you have to take phase rush. I'm decently happy with how I played this matchup overall, considering it's an unplayable matchup. Swifties is, seems to be worth it, because I played this matchup before without Swifties, and it was just, it felt so bad. If he ever lands a slow, you're guaranteed dead. But with Swifties, it's actually hard for him to stay on top of you. And Swifties are cheaper too, so cheaper and more effective in this matchup. I recommend these against Nasus as well. Against Nasus specifically, since his wither's so much better and it's consistent, because he doesn't. It's not a skill shot like Trend is. Trend's is a positional skill shot. His spins on cooldown. Auto E. Auto Q. And he's dead, right? Yep. And that's the power of Bork. You can kite out these melee champs. I have speed up from zeal, speed up from passive. I can walk him down. Feels good, man. Speed is the way to go. If these guys FF, which they probably will because they got crapped on. I'll go ahead and do a part two then. What a Zed play, dude. What a Zed outplay, my dude. He had me shaking. He had me shaking in my boots. Oh, what a rise outplay. So many outplays happening. <laughs> what in the world was that? <laughs> rise outplay, dude. He had me cut off. Got that pushed. And now we back for Phantom Dancer. We can get 7% more movement speed after we attack once. And after we've attacked four times, we get 30% more attack speed. Plus Phantom Dancer is pretty cheap for what it does. It's realistically a 3,000 gold item, but it's for 2,600. From here, I'd say Kraken or Gelforce. People sleep on Gelforce since it's an activatable item, but think about it. It's a free flash. Like Granted, you can't go over walls with it. But still, dude, a free flash on a champion? That, that's kind of cracked. The gold value on a free flash is basically... It's hard to quantify, but it's basically like 3,000 gold, unironically, if you use it properly. Because even if you're an item up on somebody, if you're in a team fight and you get hit by a big skill shot that CCs you, like a Morg Snare, you can die, right? But if you dodge it, then you don't die. So all of a sudden, that Gale Force... The value that it's giving is like way higher than any other item in the game could possibly give you. Super, super good. 
yeah we'll end here and do probably a part three 80 kills a lot of fun to play once you're level six and up pre six it's kind of boring but six and up it gets a lot more fun i do enjoy it i think trend rage quit would not be surprised the whole team's kind of rage quit mode I'll attack Eerie set. I can shred them from here if they'll step up. Yeah, they're not going to step up though. Someone on their team is voting no. There's always that one person. I think he feels like they're getting a leg up on their teammates for voting no. It's the weirdest thing. Auto E reset. Down he goes. Auto E reset, down he goes. And that is GG's. Fun game. Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to part three, up against the ranged matchup. I did the dirty, dirty deed of starting D shield. It's only 66% as effective if you're a ranged champ because this item is ridiculously overloaded. If you remove Dorn shield from the game, you would see the highest ranked top laners in the game would all be ranged top laners in order. But since D-Shield and second win exist, not so much. We could should have also gone second win there. That's my mistake. I'm just going to sit back, relax, let it hit the, hit the minis. I'll stand out of vision for a bit. No reason to even be up there. Tell something's about to die and I need to get some XPPP. Oh no, we missed a minion. Guess what? This Jace took... He took Futures Market, which is something people take when they're a big cheese ball. I think I still got XP from that. So yeah, he's literally trying to just be a big cheese face. He timed out my E there. That's a feels bad. This is not a good matchup early on. It's very, very tough for Cal. So all we're going to do is keep HP high, wait for Wave to crash, essentially. He's waiting for us to go in. All right, we back off. We soak one auto for one minion. Not a horrible interaction. Got it. Got it. E that back line there. We hit him and the minion. It's a decent. Oof. These minions are not easy to get to. With how much pressure he's exerting, he's making himself ridiculously gankable. But it's also making it challenging to farm. But he'll be up a little bit of CS to say the least. Stack up our passive on some weird HP minions. Auto attack E reset. Got it. I should have gotten my W level 3. I don't know why I got another point in my E. That's kind of awkward. Jeez, these minions are all a weird amount of HP. We're down about a full wave in terms of gold. That's okay. All we have to do is make it to level 6. And then we're chilling. That's all we got to do. That's what I'm going to do. He's tanking some of my minions when he's doing that. So he's taking a bit of damage himself. Couldn't quite get that minion. He's pushing pretty hard. So I'll thin this out myself. I'll tag E reset. Couldn't quite get it. Get that minion instead. Just chop this down. Go ahead and pick up our W now. Auto attack Q. That was awkward. Holy moly, he had a lot of attack speed for that. Got it. Go ahead and pop my potion. He's really low on mana, so we, we've done a half decent job of weathering the storm, per se. He seems to know Master Yi's here, though, or he's just suspecting it. My Master Yi is 17 CS. Four and a half minutes in. To give you guys some perspective, standard E full clear finishes around 320-ish. And he'd be level 4 at 24 CS. That is fortunately not the case. Get him with the Q. Auto E reset. Down he goes. Good gank from the E. I am just shocked how much he's missing so far. I don't understand. I don't understand why he only has four camps worth of CS. Now I need to push. I've used both my sums there, so I'm vulnerable. 
we need to fully reset this wave. There's this teleport. Used it kind of late. You must have been waiting for a specific item. Backed up past my minions there. I have too many minions for him to all in me on. Three range creeps is a D-Blade 80 carry auto attack. So if I have 10, I basically have three level 180 carries there. So he can't all in me like that. He doesn't have ignite either. So yeah, basically just two long sword advantage up because the tier doesn't actually do damage. First item, once again, needs to be Bork because for some reason Riot said, you know what? Let's buff Bork for range champions even though it's already viable on range champs. Ha ha ha. So yeah, Bork's OP, man. Once you're Bork, level six and up plus Bork, legit one of the best champs in the game. Steal their movement speed, give it to you, kite them out, eat them alive. We do have a little bit less CS than him, but we haven't been gankable, and he's been gankable this whole time, pretty much. Very rare you'll have more CS than the enemies. Auto attack E reset. It's getting easier and easier to last hit. More on hit damage from our E. Wait, is Jace mid? Auto Q. Yeah, Jace is mid. I gotta push this. We have an eye for in mid. Oh my goodness. Pop it with my E. Looks like Ivern just barely dies. I gotta finish dumping. Auto attack E reset. Fortunately, Jace didn't actually get a kill out of that, which means I should still be able to eat his lunch now that I am uh, six and up. He's not gonna miss that much CS here. I didn't really see where Gragas was. I'm going to go take his uh, stuff and also freeze this by... Oh, I should have taken that plant. That was an accident. I'll attack E reset W. I need to kite away from where Jace is going to be. Yep, kite away from where Jace is. Gragas just wasted his time. Jace misses CS. Perfect. Couldn't quite kill Gragas. If I had Flash or Ghost, he was dead. If I r myself, he was going to jump away. Kel doesn't get a speed up when she R's herself. It's all kind of the whole point of Ghost. So you can land your R's and stay on top. Gotta get back to lane ASAP. We'll use W, get there a little bit sooner. Whoa, we got all this health back from something. Holy crap. That was quick. We're not on the end game power spike yet because we don't have Bork. We're just, we can basically just farm <laughs> for free and trade reasonably right now. He went for lethality. Auto attack. Ooh, missed my E reset. I don't necessarily want to push. I think Gragas might still be in the area. So he's hitting the minions. I'll hit the minions. Counter push it. I don't want it to actually crash. I just want it to stay here forever. Auto attack Q. Auto attack E. Gragas is mid, I can see. This guy doesn't have boots. He's just dead. Why did I R there? Because first of all, I was blind face checking a bush, so I can't auto him anyway. So I might as well charge up my R and get him with that damage instead, since I'm going to have a lot of idle damage approaching the bush. I only in engaged him there because he was on cooldowns. He wasted abilities on the minions. And it's like, I already have my passive stacked. I have ghosts. And I saw Gragas was mid, so the stars aligned there, making that an obvious time to go in. When Gragas showed mid, he shouldn't have done that. The only thing keeping him alive there was me not knowing where his jungler was at, because I'm not going to blind coin flip in a matchup that I outscale. If, if I just sit there and trade minions, I'm still basically winning the interaction overall, just by not really doing much. I don't know where Gragas is. I got to back off. Even though I could realistically still kill this guy. Wait, I can get Bort? No, I can't. What am I talking about? I'll let the first minion pass. Kill has such a small hitbox, it's hard to even block minions. It takes so much more work on her. He's mashing my minions, so I gotta counter mash his. Thin it out, stop the crash. I'll attack E reset. Need to keep HP up. He's pushing me off that. Jace has fairly low auto attack range. 
I'll back on cannon wave. He's going to want to push it hard now. My creep wave's blocking his supercharge. He has to stand over here and even then. Wasn't a horrible time to back necessarily. I can get Bork, sell the D-Shield. Feels so bad to sell a Dorn item though. Because they don't sell for anything, right? It doesn't want you to sell them. They don't give much. I think it's like 40% resell value, which is really bad. Most items, it's 70%. We're up CS. He has more plates. That's fine. As long as you're not dying and missing a bunch of XP for no reason on Kel, then you're doing okay. Nice. Go ahead and get our ward down. We're, we're all juiced up, man. How many do I have to consume? 120 CS for me to get full value from overgrowth. I'm getting there. Auto E, he kind of missed his attack. I gotta get out of here though. Auto attack E reset. Got him just barely, that was nasty. Gragas is Omega fed by the way. He has more gold spent than I do. At least I think he does. How much is Night Harvester? Yeah, he has more gold spent than me. Wait, does he? I can't tell. I think we have the same exact amount of gold spent, but he did have a shutdown, so that makes me happy. That was so freaking close. I did not like that. I'll go Phantom Dancer from here or Tier 2s. Tier 2s are probably fine for now. Gragas ganks are really annoying. It's the only good thing that champion has. Gragas clears suck. His solos, for the most part, suck. His ganks are solid, though. Oh, Jace, you're so doomed. Auto attack E reset. Ah, so healed and sped up mastery there. Not want him to potentially get one shot. Now I'll stay for some plates. And then we're cooking. Ghost is up. He can't really come and stop us. Can two tap back line. That's awesome. Auto E reset. We'll take it. Teemo's coming top. Makes me a little nervous. Yeah, I gotta leave. This sucks, man. They're putting a lot of pressure topside. I don't like that. Let's do a little bit of minion block here. We'll let the first one go. It's more important you block your back line because you want your front line to get there as soon as possible. But blocking your back line helps. Oh no, a blind dart. He couldn't reach me with auto, so he went in for the blind. I think I actually just have to leave. I'm going to get blind darted and dove. It's more important to stay alive than it is to fight a losing battle. Is no one going to come and stop this? Okay, it looks like they're leaving. Teemo's still laying mushrooms over here, though. I don't really want to freeze a cannon minion. It's going to take too much damage. Okay, yeah. I, I figured they were doing that. I was going to walk all the way around this way, away from the bush like this. Give myself more space to survive. Because sure enough, they literally cut through to try to like choke me out of this... Auto attack into the E, couldn't quite get it. Pressured the Jace off the turret at least. He's the one doing the real damage to it. Might actually get Dragon off this. Oh, Jace is in trouble. One Jinnar, he's dead. Nope, never mind. I want red buff. Auto E. Should have an E up for the next one. Level 11, so we're on a decent power spike. Auto ER. Down he goes. I didn't realize Zillion was going to R me, so my R was kind of pointless there. Yon's pretty fed too, guys. Like He has more CS than me, and he had more kills than me at the time. I think I only had three kills before that. I want to kill this team. Oh, he's such a little rat. Oh, 
I want the assist at least, right? I was trying to let Ivern get it. I should have just kill stilled it. That's why I only healed him instead of trying to attack Teemo. Auto E, push this down. We'll get our cannon wave in in a moment. They might get that dragon. They are going to lose their turret for it. Gragas is coming. Who's with him? Jace. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. Oh my god, that Gragasar was disgusting. Dude, he's hit me with so many good R's, pushing me exactly where I don't want to go. Ridiculous. Alright, it's time for Phantom Dancer. Might be best for me to sit on the split. Their team is extremely immobile. They don't have a single champion with a long duration speed up. Gap close tool, like a Hecarim Rammus. Trindamir spin type thing. So if I sit on a split, I don't think they can stop me. I can walk away with phantom speed up. Well, I'll head over there right now. I'm tied CS with Jace. More kills. In a great spot to carry. I gotta stop dying though. I can solo him. You can't fight me, dude. I'm Bork Kel. My R's insane. Nearly 500 damage. Plus I don't take damage. Oh, nice try, dude. The nice thing about Bork is you actually heal. If you go for a standard Kel build, like Nashers, you have zero healing. Nashers is so risky first item rush. But the combination of Bork, man. A lot of, a lot of uh, additional healing. Seems like Yon's coming to stop me. I'm gonna run away. I don't feel like dying for this. I don't have no. Ooh, Jace is mid. Can I solo Yon? Maybe. I don't know where Gragas is though. That makes this kind of sketchy. I see two mid, two missing. I don't want to fight Yon when I don't know where his team is. That's just a bad idea. He's he's really slippery. Might as well stay alive in the scale. Could get Phantom Dancer now. It's a good time to back. I, just, I can run away, dude. Yon can't keep up with me. You'll have to land a knock up right off the bat. Auto E, auto. Someone on my team's trying to FF. I think that's pointless. We have so much scaling. We have a Mastery Kel with a Zillion Ivern. Like we have two massive carries with two peelers to buff us up and keep us alive. There's no reason to FF. I'll go ahead and stay. I'm assuming this isn't worded. If it is, I'm gonna die. Cause they're all three kind of in the area anyways. All right, I see where Timo is. I'm gonna kite away from where they're at right now. And now I have to reset. Get out of their range. Timo's gonna be over here in a moment. Never mind, he went mid instead. I want to back for Phantom. And then I'll play for uh Kraken or Shieldbow. Shieldbow's pretty good on Kel. Surprised they don't have it as a recommended item. They really want you to go full glass cannon. I'll attack E reset. Just speed myself up, flash Q into him. I'll attack E reset. Dude, I need a QSS. I really need a QSS. I'll attack E, couldn't quite get it. Jin's hauling though. I don't know why Jin's moving so fast. Jin doesn't even have flash. That doesn't make sense. It makes zero sense how Jin's moving that fast, dude. Is the only speed up really that good? <laughs> Jin's moving faster than Ram is over here. Auto attack into the E reset. Let's kite this over to red buff. Auto E. Auto E. Nice, nice, nice. I want that big wave bot side, dude. 
I'll let him have both of this. He should take it. Because I want this wave. <laughs> I don't want that. He gets more XP from monsters than I do. Because I don't have jungle items. So he might as well take that. I'm soaking a ridiculous amount of golden XP right now. Fan of answers full stack. Giving me a combined total of 14% bonus movement speed. Passive stack give me 8%. So my passive stack and fan bands are stacked. I'm getting... 22% extra movement speed from Phantom and passive total. 22% is kind of nutty because it's constant as long as I stay in combat autoing. I kind of have to get QSS here, right? It's not a horrible item too since the Gragas team are magic damage. Magic resist will help a little bit against I guess Gragas short shoes. Let's get passive up and then we'll fight these guys. He wasted smite on that? Are you serious? I get the speed up off of Bork, passive, and phantom there, plus W. I'm out of there. They couldn't continue that. We definitely lose dragon off that since Ivern died for no reason. Auto E reset. Down you go, Teemo. Ivern should not have died there. That was not good timing. When you're Kel's level 11 and up, you should win every drag fight. But we can't win it when we have someone on our team who's not trying to stay alive. He goes in anyways. It's a mistake. Looks like they're kind of chasing my team. Once again, Phantom Dancer speed. Passive speed. We can walk away. Gragas seems to be chasing, funny enough. Oh, they're... Yeah, they're both chasing. Jace isn't really over here so i think i'm fine i'll break this ward real quick snatch the wave he's dead i could take his red buff might be bm though bad manners big bowel movement stinky dookie mm, are they both afk are you kidding me dude <laughs> they, there's no way they both afk'd right because this is a free win if they just play the game I can't imagine having a bad mental when you have a Kale on your team in the late game. This is like, what else do you need in life? Yeah, I, I took your thing because you were AFK, my dude. I didn't take it to punish you. Hey, friend. Speed myself up. You want to die? Auto E reset Q. Close fight. We're similar items, but I do have more than him. Auto E reset. Me and you could really dual take Baron right now. I'll go ahead and shove wave. I want to get them off of my base, and by me pressuring theirs, it's going to put pressure on them to rethink what they're doing. I also have some minions to do this. I want to keep up my passive. I'm at five stack. Ooh, that's no fun. Auto E reset in the R. I'll just leave. He knocked me away. I wasn't expecting that. I would have definitely won that fight, though, because I had passive stacked and Phantom Dancer stacked. It's a lot of extra attack speed and movement speed. So when he keeps trying to surrender, very cool. I like that. Nothing quite like playing 24 minutes to give up when you have one of the best late game comps in the game. I think that's how the quote goes. Silvermere Dawn is outrageously overtuned. Silvermere, so it's a QSS. It cleanses everything except for displacements. So even suppressions, it cleanses. And then for the next three seconds, you get 50% tenacity and slow resistance, which is insane. It's a ridiculous amount of stats. I'm going to go kill this Jace. He actually thinks he's allowed to do what he's doing. He's hiding off to the side, waiting to see if I show up. Okay, I see where he's going. He's going for his Gromp or something. I don't know where these guys are at. Ooh. Auto Q, auto. Auto E, flash. Good thing I had flash or I was dead there. I'm level 16 now. The game's over. Oh, yeah, our Ivern's actually rage quit. I think he keeps trying to surrender in the fountain. What a stink bag. Auto E, speed myself up. 
auto E. I uh, almost killed him. I need to heal off something like this. I got the Yone pretty low. I think he has to back. I need red buff for the healing. If I could see it, it'd be nice. Maybe we can definitely win without this Ivern. <laughs> Legit. Who plays 20 minutes and then gives up when you have Kel, man? It's insane. Like, I get it if you're losing early. And you're like, okay, this is a waste of time. We can't win. But, dude, it's late game. Gotta believe. There's a red ward right there. Someone needs to break that. Dragon's up in 40. It's not soul for them. They're starting to play really safe and they're all trying not to die when we're playing a man down. Speed myself up. I gotta push this wave, force them to come to me. If I have to chase them around when we're playing a man down, I can never get to them. It's like Scooby-Doo chasing each other. I'll never be able to do it ever because they have more people than me. So instead, I need to take the pressure that I have and force a base race or force them to come to me. Dragon's coming up as well, so they're going to be kind of torn on what to do here. I have no clue why Zillion armed me that early. I guess it panned out, though. Try to speed up the Zillion. So now Ivern is officially DC'd after being in base for like eight minutes. Might be able to take Baron, honestly, why they do Dragon. Auto attack, E reset, down he goes. I think I think we can actually do Baron. Especially if Master E tanks so I can do full damage output. I have Bork to Shred as well. Bork does a bit of damage to monsters. Zillion has to leave, though. If Gragas steals this, I'm going to be super bummed out. Auto E reset, auto Q. Auto E reset. Ooh, got the Baron. We got the Baron and the Gragas. This is Zillion's clutch. I gotta hurry out and kill this guy. I didn't really have time to get my items. What else should I buy from this position? Probably uh, just Infinity Edge. The Zillion speedups are nasty. If this guy doesn't have R, he's dead. I'll attack E reset. Dude. He actually killed me. I gave him shutdown. That's something in League I wish they would change. When you have an AFK, I don't think the enemy should be able to get shutdown gold off of you. Because we're, we're, we have a very narrow window to end, right? Before they're all full build. But they're being rewarded for killing us when they have more people than us. It's just, it's silliness. I need to get my, I need to get an item here that's gonna make a real difference. I think a lifesteal item might actually be best, but realistically, Infinity Edge is gonna be the most damage possible, so. It's a tough call. They don't have any tanks to justify me really getting any shred through Surlds. That was my bad, I could've just pressed R and lived. I didn't think I needed to, but Yon absolutely cracked my head. Sucks, man. Very unfortunate. My R was up, Zillion's R was down, so that was 100% my fall. If I can get one good pick, or one good positioning with Zillion behind me, I want Zillion to have that. I don't actually need blue buff is the thing. I'm gonna speed myself up, auto E reset. A nice try, Yon. Close fight. They're kind of split pushing right now. They're, they're literally just trying to split. It's insane. I think they know they can't really fight us. They're going for my minions. No way. Jin kills the Teemo. That's so annoying, man. 
the amount of uh, slows we're dealing with here. I'll speed us up with my heal. We have cannon minion. We can actually get turret here. Auto attack E reset. Oh, that zillion R was so good. Oh, I couldn't do it. Too many people, man. I did as much as I could. Can, can Infinity Edge make the difference? Next, we would sell boots for some kind of mobility. Gale Force might actually be better if, if we uh, if we could get Gale Force and then a final item, we'd have a lot of movement speed. A lot, a lot, a lot of movement speed. Spear of Shojin kind of gives movement speed. Wouldn't be a horrible item, but it's nerfed for range champs. Yomus, maybe. Runons, yeah, I don't think that really works with Kel. Wait, <laughs> they just killed two of our teammates, dang. We are technically full build. We need dragon. They keep trying to split because they know they can't truly team fight though. So uh, unfortunate. Auto attack into the E reset. Down he goes. I have to recall now. Hopefully minis don't stop my back. Thank gosh. That would have sucked. Man, they really want this win. They're willing to take it at all costs. Split pushing in a 5v4. That's hardcore. Auto Q, auto E. I think I got blinded in there somewhere. These Teemo mushrooms are absurd. We do have a jungler, so we should be able to take this, right? That a dragon's actually a big deal for us because it gives attack speed, which I need. I'll be selling boots soon for something. I'm not sure what yet. Could even pick up Lich Bane, honestly. Lich Bane wouldn't be super troll. I don't actually need these last hits. I just don't want the minions to break my turret. Whew, that zillion speed up is dirty. I like it. I'm going to cleanse that. I want to be able to run this guy down. Hey, friend. I think he missed his jump. I'll attack. Ooh, whoa, zillion didn't R. Dang. I think he was focused on where the Yone was at there. <laughs> he missed the thing. That might be GG's. It's a tough game. I still had fun. 80 kills an absolute menace. It might be worth to get Surled for the slow. I don't think Kraken's really worth it in this type of game. I think Gale Force is better or Shield Bow is better. With the amount of damage I'm absorbing. It would make a lot more sense to have um, something that's actually going to help with that and not just a little bit more true damage. Because it's time to sell boots. Movement speed. Could get rapid fire cannon. 7%. No, I'll get Merc Treads. Merc Treads sound troll, but they actually have the Teemo blind, and if my QSS is on a cooldown. They got our turret off that. It sucks. The Teemo Mushrooms are so unfortunate, because they take up a lot of the map, and I don't want to have to invest into Oracle Lens, but I kind of have to. Yeah. 
Yeah, I'm gonna die here. Possibly. Okay, Zillion dies. Zillion probably shouldn't have died there. It's fine, though. He got his R on me, which is the most important thing. Got him with my QSS. Turned around and smacked him in the mouth. Dude, how many mushrooms am I going to walk into? Unreal. I got a recall at some point here. This mastery, <laughs> I don't even know, dude. They're probably going to get inhib. They might be too scared of me, though. We'll see. Uh... I'll get Gale Force. I think Gale Force is worth. Let's see how fast we're moving now. Because it gives 2% per full item. I have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10% extra. I'm moving 437 without boots. That's kind of nasty. I am taking so much. <laughs> Dude, it's so silly. The amount of mushrooms they let Teemo lay because they put his R on a low mana cost is out. It's outrageous actually outrageous on attack e reset gel force into it i don't have my qss up down he goes i need to heal off something i do have red buff but man it is not healing me right now wait so ivern how did he disconnect again he has not been in the game for the last like 16 minutes. Supposedly he just disconnected though. So unless he's been fiddling in base this whole time. I need to heal off these. Keep my stuff up. I died. I kited that bad. <sighs> Dang. I might actually need Sorrels. These guys are going to get Drag Soul off that. Mastery, is li he's leaving base when there's three minion waves on our turret. He actually walked past that. He must be trying to surrender. Because it it's not even that he wasn't paying attention to the minimap. He literally walked past it when it was on his screen. Even if he was on lock screen, he would have seen that. Dang. It's unfortunate. Yeah. I wouldn't say this is a 4v5. I'd just say this is a 3v5. <laughs> he has 5kp out of 30. I, I got rapid fire because it gives movement speed, basically. But maybe I should have gone for something else. It's hard to say. The whole enemy team is basically full build and they have dragon advantage, so it's, it's not easy to really get to them necessarily. I'm gonna Gale Force past that. I'll attack E reset. Down he goes. And that's why I like Gale Force. I'm gonna ghost for this, you little scumbag. I'll attack E-Reset. You're dead. Goodbye. And that's GG's, man. Whew. Thank goodness we had a zillion. If, if I didn't have a zillion on my team, this probably wouldn't be winnable 4v5. Because the enemy team is... They're being smart for the most part, splitting and not looking for a 5v5. Because I have so much AoE damage, they'll all just die if they look for a 5v5. Down you go. Good luck, Teemo. Teemo just got chomped. Down you go. <laughs> My range is insane. Died. I didn't have the Zillion R, unfortunately. Hopefully my team can end. Oh, mastery is so weak, dude. He even has three full item. He couldn't even kill Lucian when Lucian was like <laughs> half health or less there. Oh no, bro. Do we lose here? I think they get that turret.
their supers are focusing it down a bit. Question is, do we go for Surlds? What would we get to get Surlds? I don't want to get rid of Phantom Dancer. I guess I could get rid of Infinity Edge. It's a tough call, man. Infinity Edge would be really sad to see that gone. The Surlds slow is really good, though. Damaging ability slowed them by 30%. All my abilities would slow them. It'd make, it'd make it easier to stay on top, but I don't think that's the main thing getting me killed right now. I think I'm honestly just better off with, with like Bloodthirster over Infinity Edge. As weird as that sounds. Wait, why does Bloodthirster only get 55 AD? What the heck? Why does it only get 55 AD? I think it's worth though. This guy won't die, you know that? <laughs> Timo's hiding off to the side, little rat. He's literally just trying to hide. He's such a little scumbag. He's such a little rat. Down you go, Timo. <laughs> he's such a troll dude he's just trying to make sure we can't end by pressuring our base i'm not gonna let him do that though jin needs to let me hit the minions because i'm the one missing hp here should let the minions lead so they can hit shrooms if there's any over here there's probably not since team was bot side though my gale force is on a cooldown i'll attack e reset yeah nice try buddy I'm getting creep blocked a little bit here. These guys do still have drag salt. I'll attack E reset. Ooh, I can't move. That might be game. Holy crap, I couldn't move. I should have just backed off. I don't have the damage to do anything there. Maybe it's worth getting rid of Silver Mirror Dawn since I'm not interacting with Teemo that much, anyways. hard to say I don't think Zillion can stall this out by himself there's only so much a Zill build can do I'm surprised 43 minutes in you know maybe this is Master Yi's time to shine perhaps he can pull something off with Zillion oh never mind <laughs> he just art away Z Master Yi go in <laughs> Zillion has R <laughs> Yeah, that's GG's, man. And that's the adventures of Kel, guys. Looking at damage ultimate champions, we had the most in the game. Looking at damage taken, most in the game. Very cool for runes high value. A lot of fun. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. My name is Kingsticks. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.